name is Professor Nicholas Race and I'm the academic principal investigator of NGCDI, so the Next Generation Converged Digital Infrastructure Project with, with BT. The project started back in 2017 looking at how BT would build a future network infrastructure. So we've seen in the last few years a collaboration between a number of universities across Lancaster, Bristol, Surrey and Cambridge that bring together a range of skills. So we have expertise in different areas from, from networking, mathematics and statistics, industrial automation, wireless networks and AI and 5G. And together as a partnership we've been delivering services and new ideas into, into BT. So I'm Stephen Cassidy and I'm the principal investigator on the industrial side. So what the showcase does, we're able to call on these fantastic universities who have these individual expertise, together with the BT researchers who understand the problem and bring them into the same space to develop the same language to actually be able to deliver stuff and make it real. What we've seen over recent years is just how critical networks are to people in the way they live their life, the way they do business, hospitals, air traffic control, all of the things that we support as a, as a company in BT. What's important about these projects is not just to explore the out of the possible, but to co-develop uh, and co-innovate in solutions that BT and other partners across industry can actually implement in our networks. My research is about complex networks. In the case of NGCTI project, I'm working in a study the network structure and dynamics of the telecom system of BT. So a lot of the NGCDI project looks at um, more moving towards automation and seeing how we can use automation to improve our networks overall. And we're looking at software-defined architectures and virtual networks. I have found NGCDI to be an extremely exciting project to work on um, because of exactly the importance of you know, running the network for the country, the fact that we, you know, we're working with these great academics and we're able to you know, take their ideas and kind of put those into, into reality. At, at Bristol, our speciality is um, machine learning, specifically reinforcement learning. So this is the paradigm of uh, decision making. So how do we perform optimal decisions in a sequential manner? Um, our efforts in Lancaster University are primarily focused on the upper layers of the NGCDI architecture. And we try to explore how we can design automated and autonomic mechanisms that they can simplify the management of the actual infrastructure, reduce the operational cost, and try to improve the service quality for end users and the operators themselves. Stuff I've seen today, I mean, hey, it's amazing. There's some really, really good work going on here. Um, really clever stuff. And it's so important for a company like BT to really be working in this space, to be using this type of technology and going in this direction. Being able to tap into the academic environment means that we get that diversity of culture and opinion and views and they come up with ideas that challenge our status quo. Okay. Uh, so basically we are looking at uh, uh, AI or intelligent based networking and network management for enhancing user experiences especially in terms of uh, immersive media such as uh, holographic teleportation which could be deemed as the next generation of interpersonal communication platforms like Zoom, like Microsoft Teams. I think um, it's just really important to have an external perspective on some of these, um, both the technology issues and the management issues actually. So our university team, we are mainly working on intelligent management of the next generation of networks. Uh, one of the things that we're really keen to do is undertake research with impact and impact is a measure of the usefulness of the activity. So we're keen to have real world challenges and issues that we can spend our time looking to address and solve. So we are now coming towards the end of this particular programme. Already we can see benefits downstreaming immediately into BT, so our anomaly detection work is already well engaged with, uh, with our colleagues. But we still have this long-term ambition. So what I really hope to see is success from this particular programme we're also moving forward, resetting the ambition, making it bigger, and then applying ourselves to that.